What's up everybody, it's Andreas and I get asked a lot on, for instance, on LinkedIn. I'm a beginner and I don't know how to get into big data. I'm interested in the field as well as data science. There are so many tools, I don't know which ones I, I should learn. There are so many possibilities which language I should learn. And so what I tell people always is, find a project you can do. You can do it very easily. All tools are basically free, everything is open source. So find yourself a project you can do. And what, what I get then asked or, or told a lot is, I don't know how to start. I, I, I don't have a, I can't find a project I, I can do. So this is actually not hard at all. And here's, a, here's an example what you can do. Clickstream processing. If you're, if you're using Netflix or if you're going to Amazon, they're logging live all the, clicks, all the clicks into a stream and then they're making analysis on that. This is something I'm going to, over the next few weeks, I'm going to do. And the first thing that you're going to do is you need to think about how actually you're going to build that. Okay, so basically what you're starting with is you have on the one side you have someone here who has a website. And that website, for instance, has a button. And that button, when he clicks that button, data gets sent somewhere there that he pushed that button. And that, if a million people are doing that, this is something very, very interesting to know. So on the, on the other side, there is some, some analysis that shows how that button is pushed. Okay. So what you have, that website needs a web server. So over the internet, it goes on the web server. Web server. Okay. And so now you're needing something to ingest the data at scale. So ingest phase. And then you have the analysis phase. And the analytics then pushes the data back to the web server somewhere. And so that leads then to the chart that you're going to need. There are certain tools that you need on certain ends. And so the first thing is to find out what tool is the right tool to use. So this is it then, a browser doesn't matter. You have ingestion, that matters a lot. The, the web server, no. Ingestion, yes. Then the analytics tool, that matters as well. And then the actual UI, I'm not going to focus on that right now. So what I will use is for ingestion, I will use Kafka. Kafka is a message queue solution where you at scale can put in data and on the other side, you can get out the data and process it. That's called publish and subscribe model. There are other tools as well for publish and subscribe, but Kafka is right now a real hot topic. And the other one at the analytic side, I'm going to use Spark because Spark as well is a very hot topic right now. Everybody wants to get into Spark because Spark is not only good for in-memory, fast in-memory processing, it's also good if you're, if you're doing machine learning because there are libraries beneath that or libraries you can use like TensorFlow, NumPy and Pandas. They are quite hot topics right now and I think and they are very easy to get into and to build up on that skill. You could use some other tools like MapReduce, like Storm for processing that data, but this is what we're going to use. So did you have that problem as well? Were you looking at a project but you couldn't find one? If you 
found one I am very interested in that so leave me a comment if you like this one leave a like and hit the subscribe button and then we'll meet at the next one